This is the Horizon Ultra. It's the latest edition of XGME's lineup of Horizon projectors. This is referred to as the world's first 4K long throw projector with Dolby Vision. This comes in at $1699. And as you saw from the thumbnail of this video, I consider this to be as close to perfection as you can get for a long throw projector. And in the video, I will showcase why. Let's get into it. So just starting off what comes in the box, you have yourself the large power adapter and plug, you have yourself a user manual and the remote control. Let's take a quick look at the remote control. I have to say that this is one of the nicest designs for a cinema home projector remote control that I've seen. It is metallic, it's very heavy duty. You'll notice that this does also have Google Voice Assistant and to change the batteries, you have a little button there that you press, the battery compartment pops up and you clip it back into place, which actually is quite a nice design. One thing I would say with this remote control is that it doesn't have a dedicated mute button, which I often do use quite sometimes, but also it doesn't have any dedicated buttons for the apps for Android TV. So you don't have a button for Disney+, Plus, YouTube, Amazon Prime, etc. One thing to also note is that this projector with Android TV does not come with Netflix pre-installed, but that is a common problem with, I would say, maybe more than 95% of projectors on the market. Netflix don't provide licenses to a lot of Android TVs, which is a bit of a shame, but they do include a little instruction guide on how to install Netflix through a third-party downloader app that you can install via Google Play. So you can very easily follow this and use Netflix on Android TV, but it will be more of a desktop version rather than a dedicated Android TV version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the design of the projector. This has to be one of the nicest designs I've seen for any type of home cinema projector. It has this blend of fabric and leather eco-friendly material, along with these light tone colors that can fit into any aesthetics of any environment around the home. On the back, you have multiple inputs for connectivity. You have yourself the DC input, the LAN input, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, an optical port to connect to a soundbar, an audio jack, and the power button. And at the bottom, you also have a quarter 20 inch thread if you did want to mount this on any particular plate or tripod. Now you're probably wondering, where is the lens? It's actually neatly covered by this motorized sliding front panel, which when you turn the projector on, slowly slides down, revealing the lamp and sensors. And speaking of sensors, this has a 3D TOF sensor, which we'll talk about now as we look into the primary specs and features. Firstly, as I mentioned at the start of this video, this is 4K native with Dolby Vision, so you can experience unparalleled brightness, exceptional color accuracy, and premier image quality for a true Dolby Vision theater experience. Next, this has 2300 ISO lumens, not to be confused with ANSI lumens, but the Horizon Ultra gives you ultra high brightness and lifelike color, providing incredible image detail morning, day, and night. And one of the key features for me specifically about this projector is that this has something called dual light technology. It pairs LED and laser technology both, and the Horizon Ultra delivers the ultimate color accuracy, the brightness and color gamut for a visual experience that you'll never forget. And it's not too common of seeing long throw projectors that does utilize both LED and laser technology. And when you do get to see the demo videos that I'm going to showcase in this video, you will know that this is as close as a dedicated laser projector that you can get when it comes to long throw home cinema projectors. Next, this has something called Intelligent Screen Adaption 3.0. This upgraded ISA technology smoothly optimizes the projector's environmental adaptability, and it includes things like auto keystone and auto focus, auto screen alignment, intelligent obstacle avoidance, which is great if you have an object that's maybe interfering with the projection on the wall, then this will automatically align it so it avoids that. And that also utilizes the 3D TOF sensor that's on the front of the panel. This also has wall color adjustment. So no matter what color your wall or your screen is, it will adjust the color accuracy and the exposure levels and brightness of the projector so that you get the most optimal viewing from the projector itself. In addition, it has lossless optical zoom. So you can actually increase the size of the projection without any interference of the quality. This also has dynamic color adjustments for different lighting situations in the environment and plenty more. And last but not least, this has dual 12 watt Harman Kardon speakers and combined with DTS Studio and Dolby Audio sound technology, 
The two full range built in speakers provide three dimensional surround sound, giving you an unforgettable home cinema experience, which I will try and showcase by playing a Dolby audio demo video to you. And I do recommend that you do use some headphones to try and hear the clarity and the quality in the audio that this projector produces. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the projector. I'm connecting it with my VividStorm 100 inch floor rising ALR screen to utilize the maximum potential of the dual light technology in the Horizon Ultra. Okay, so let's just take a look at Android TV. Now I have a lot of natural light coming into this room. It is very bright. And I'm also using this gray ALR screen by VividStorm. And I just wanted to point out some of the settings before we go into play any demo videos. Right now it is still pretty clear and it has automatically adjusted the brightness and the color based on the screen color itself. So although it's not pure white, it's adjusted it to the point where it makes it much clearer to be seen on a dark gray screen like this. If we head over to settings, you can see there's multiple different settings you can do. Keystone correction, you can do it to automatically do it for you. Sometimes I like to get the best keystone correction by just making small updates manually. As you can see, I've made it edge to edge on my screen. Optical zoom, I think this is a really great feature because it is lossless optical zoom. So when you select this, right now it's at 100%. If I go down smaller, you'll notice the wheel in the middle of the screen with the orange parts. These are the optical zoom levels that you can go to maximum. As it goes into the white parts, it switches to digital zoom. So you can go even smaller down. So depending on where you do position your projector around your home, you can be confident knowing that it will zoom to whichever level you need it to, to fit in the perfect space or wall or screen that you're going to use to watch all of your content. So look how small that went and I can slide back. It will switch from digital to optical as soon as it goes into the orange zone. And then it will go up to the maximum projection size where you first start off from. You have plenty of different picture settings. Like I mentioned, environment adaptation, I think is very important to have that as set to on, as well as color adaptation, depending on the color of your walls and the lights in the environment. Then you've got a lot of picture modes that you can select from as standard. You can turn on game mode if you do connect this to your next gen gaming console, your PlayStation or Xbox. This will be very high performing with that. Of course, this has Dolby Vision. You can set up 3D video with it as well. And then there's high color accuracy settings there. So all of the settings that you would generally expect from a very high-end cinema projector like this. And when it comes to sound effects, you can go in there, switch from Harman Kardon Original to DTS Virtual X. And this will only work with built-in speakers and not with any other external speakers that you do connect with the projector. So I will leave it on Harman Kardon Original so you can actually hear the experience coming from those Harman Kardon speakers when I give you the audio demo. So let's go ahead and play back a demo video in this naturally brightly lit room right now. And then I'll make it very dark. I will close all my shutters and just black out the room. So you can see the crystal clear quality when you do watch this in low lighting conditions. Now you saw how clear that still was with this very bright room. And of course, if you do want to watch this in daytime, you can still see pretty much everything that you want to in terms of its quality, its sharpness, its color vibrancy. Of course, because the sunlight, when it does directly hit it, it may feel a little bit washed out, but as soon as the lights go down, 
you will see how crystal clear this is. And not just that, hopefully you heard a bit of the audio from that demo video there. I heard all of the sounds of nature and there was a lot of 3D sounds where the crackling of the fire, the waves of the ocean, it felt like it was coming from all sides. The speakers in this are really great. Now before we jump into a Dolby audio demo, let's go ahead and showcase another demo video using 4K resolution, 60 frames per second in a very dark room. Now you saw how clear this is, the color vibrance on this, just a natural burst of colors and clarity. With this dual light technology inbuilt into this, this makes this as close as you can get to even like those 4K single laser UST projectors. This feels like a pure 4K laser TV. It doesn't feel like one of those generic long throw projectors that you can get on Amazon. There's a lot of them out there on the market currently, which you know range from around $300 to about $800. In this mid-level price range at $16.99, it feels like you've saved a lot of money from spending up to around what I've seen for $3,000 or $4,000 projectors ultimately do the same thing. So I really can't fault the quality on this, both in daylight and in darkness. Now, of course, with all of the features that's packed with it, one of the key ones is Dolby Vision and also Dolby Audio with the Harman Kardon speakers. So let's go ahead and play a demo video from Dolby Audio. So hopefully if you have some headphones, you can hear the clarity on it. I'm just going to be standing nearby to the speakers in the projector itself. But just note that what I'm hearing and what you guys will hear might be two slightly different things because I am here in person. But hopefully it will give you an idea of just how punchy, how great the bass is and how clear the audio is overall. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Soundscape sits the mood of the scene. We are careful on the side of the road. Whoa! Is this? Whoa! Naughty guys, let's go! Or captures the full extent <laughs> of nature's fury. And remember this? It's just the beginning of Dolby Vision. Because what you thought was black isn't. This is black. 
This is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen. This is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy. Energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema. So as I'm just putting the volume all the way down, this is one of the nicest sounding speakers on any projector that I've reviewed so far. Being in the room next to this, I can hear the audio being very 3D coming from different parts of the room. And that's how you would complete a full home cinematic experience. And for me, audio is as equally as important as video and Horizon Ultra has definitely accomplished that to perfection. So there you have it guys. That's the Horizon Ultra by XGME, one of my favorite long throw 4K projectors. Make sure to check out the link if you want to read up on the full capabilities and specifications on their website and taking a look at all of their latest pricing information in case they have any offers running. But this is absolutely great value for money for someone that's looking to set up a home cinema theater experience. This is the one to keep an eye out for and you definitely won't be disappointed in the quality that you're going to get from this. Of course, as always, if there's any other questions you may have, make sure to put them in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe. I do projector reviews and all things tech. I have new videos out every week. Make sure to like this video and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.